everyone. Uh, this is Mike of Classic uh, Video Gamer Magazine. Um, the reason why I'm creating this video is because I want to try something a little bit different. Uh, I just received a package uh, from Sean, the Sean from Atari H. Um, I'm not trying to steal the thunder from Maximum RD because I love his channel. But I know a lot of people really enjoy box openings. Ta-da! Um, he actually had a couple for sale threads on Atari H. And I decided to, well, purchased a few things from him from my personal collection. And I thought I'd like to share a few, you know, the contents of the package with everyone. Thought we'd uh, go ahead and try it out. Open it up, see what's inside. Huh? Let's go for it. What do you guys think? Nice little sharp. Nice little sharp pair of scissors. Let's go for it. What do you think, guys? So, uh, these are something I wanted to get for my one of my game systems for a while. Um, I also have a new Sega, a new Sega Genesis system coming in the mail from an eBay seller. Though I'm not really big on Flea Bay, but I do have that coming in. And believe it or not, um, the Atari Jaguar system that I purchased some time ago actually decided to uh, die on me as well. So I have that coming in the mail. So I've been Jaguarless. I've been wanting to play my copy of Mad Bodies for a while. And uh, also we plan on reviewing it in uh, the September issue of Classic Video Gamer Magazine. But this isn't a self-promotional ad for our magazine or anything. But just want to point out that I'm kind of missing my Atari Jaguar. But... These games should keep me busy until that comes in the mail. According to the tracking number I received, it should be here uh, any day now. Let's see what we got in here. Of course, I already know, but what's the point in mentioning it now? That would kind of defeat the purpose, right? Let me package this one really uh, Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, yeah, look at this. All right, trying to show everything here. Oh my God, got some really good packaging in there. You did a great job of that styrofoam. Made sure that stuff didn't bounce around, huh? Well, let's take a peek, guys. Nice, warm New England afternoon. Play some video games, taking a break. Uh, let's see here. I've been uh, trying to rebuild my Sega Genesis collection and also been trying to, uh, since buying a Jaguar, I've been trying to build up that collection as well. Um, let's see here. Well, first game Stormlord. Look at that. One of the earlier Sega Genesis titles. Four megabit, and look at this too. It's also in, a, it's in the original clamshell cases, either. It's cardboard, people. Oh, yeah, this is. I remember reading about this a long time ago in the old EGM. Never actually had the opportunity to play this, and if I'm not mistaken, it was also released on the Commodore Amiga computer a long time ago. Razor Soft, people. Good stuff. Next, uh, I'm really big on shooters, so Burks. Burks is a really good game. Um, you know, overhead shooter. Kind of like, I wouldn't say it's like, you know, remember the old game Commando? Well, I'm a big fan of that. Even have it on the Atari 2600, believe it or not. But uh, if you can see that, really, really good shot of that. Uh, oh yeah, great game. I've been after this one for a long time and got a really good price on it too. Thanks, Sean. Oh yeah. Let's see here. What else we got? We got a lot of stuff in here. Another one of my favorites. Um, I had the first one on the Genesis, but the second. And believe it or not, um, the character that appears in this game is also in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which uh, was relaunched on the Xbox Live and PlayStation 3 Network, uh, Strider. Strider Returns. No, I do remember this game not receiving uh, 
really good reviews back in the day as compared to the original, but I never did have the opportunity to play it when I was younger, so I can't wait to I don't know if you can see that really well. You should be able to. But I didn't have the opportunity to play this when I was younger, so I'm really looking forward to checking that out. Here's another game um, by a company, um, Sage's Creation, which is in Sector X. And if you heard a beep there a second ago, that's because the box was hitting the keyboard. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, Sector X, which is a side-scrolling shooter. Looks like a fun game. Um, I remember reading reviews about this. And I believe it received mixed reviews, but the game itself, from what I understand, is quite challenging, which is the case for most Sage's Creation games. That looks like a lot of fun. Now we're moving on to something else here. And I may have to make this into a two-parter because I'm getting pretty close to 10 minutes. Um, about six minutes already into this. Um, I'm starting to work on, ta-da, Sega Master Collection. Sega Master System Collection, rather. Hang on, Astro Warrior. The combo cartridge, ooh. Um, you know, I did have a 8-bit Nintendo system as a child. But I also did have a Sega Master System, and I did favor it more in some ways. Um, I've always been a big fan of Sega, and I love their games. And I even love the Sega Master System. Um, as we all know, it did have better graphics, and the games were really nice. They were um, overall of a really, in some ways, of a better quality. Um, because, you know, Sega did most of their own games, and they did have some third-party uh, third support. But really, they did most of it themselves, I really should say. But, great stuff. I have some more in here. Here we go. Another one of my favorites, though it's not as good of a system because of the slowdown. But, Double Dragon. Oh yeah, when I had my Sega Master System as a young child, I could not wait to play this game when I first read about it. The time this that was the game. Oh, awesome! And the graphics are, you know, slightly better than the 8-bit Nintendo version, but the 8-bit Nintendo version overall does have better gameplay. But this one seems a little bit closer to the coin-up, but the game does suffer from intense slowdown. I mean, it has more slowdown and flicker than the NES version, actually. But overall, great game. Uh, what else here? We got some more items. Some cartridges. We got California Games. Kung Fu Kit. Shanghai. Alright, let's get just a couple more items. I might actually make it. Um, for my Game Gear, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Tails. Remember Sonic. And I got to believe it or not, Captain N, the, the Game Master. I couldn't pass this up, got an awesome deal on this. I think we all remember this on Saturday morning television when we were children. My favorite Saturday morning cartoon as a child. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. And all this stuff I got a great deal on. Thanks, Sean. Uh, but also, you never could have enough of these. Six-button arcade pad here. Sega Genesis. Great stuff, man. Gotta love it. Well, it looks like I've actually made it. Almost ten minutes. Well, guys, I just wanted to share this. You know, watching all those unboxing videos makes... You know, are real exciting. Um, I just really wanted to share my experience. Uh, hopefully, it was as decent as all the others. Um, but just wanted to share, and I just want to give a shout out to all the people that are supporting our magazine. It's and said so this is not an info commercial, but you know, it is professionally printed. Um, you know, we do it for the love of the hobby. So, thanks, guys. Peace out and game on.